Okay, the last bit on this is efficiency calculations. And hopefully by now you've got a, a bit of an idea about what efficiency means. When you put energy into a device, some of it comes out as what you want, some of it doesn't. Okay, well how good it is at turning the energy that you put in into what you want out, that's what we call the efficiency. Okay, here's a little example to get you started. So here's two light bulbs, here's an energy efficient bulb. So the energy efficient bulb says on it 11 watts. And here's a standard filament lamp, and that one says ten uh, says 100 watts. Okay, and you might think, well, which one of these is actually going to be brightest? Well, brightness depends on not how much energy you put in every second, which is what these numbers are, but how much energy comes out as light. Okay, and in this case, it might well be that the energy out, all right, is of those 11 watts, 10 watts come out as light. Okay, whereas in this one, Okay, it might be that the 100 watts only gives you 10 watts of light. Okay, if that's true, then these two bulbs will have the same brightness, even though this one's using a lot less power. Okay, the reason is this one is much more efficient. Okay, it's given much more of the energy you put in out as what you want. Okay, you might want to think about how much heat you're getting out. Okay, hopefully you can see that this is giving you 1 watt of heat, whereas this one's giving you 90 watts of heat. Okay, but that's not going to make it brighter. Okay, the light is the useful energy out. This gives us this idea, this equation, which is the efficiency of device is the useful energy out over the total energy in. So in that example that I just did, for the efficient bulb, we got 10 watts out of the 11 we put in. Sometimes we multiply that by 100 to make it into a percentage. Okay, would give us an efficiency of about 90 one percent okay but the filament bulb only gave us our same 10 watts out of the hundred we put in that makes it only 10 percent efficient sorry missed out the times 100 there okay so 10 percent sometimes we leave this as a fraction so that's 0.91 and that's 0.1 okay you'll see both of those used so you need to understand that this plus 100 uh, sorry times 100 is a little bit kind of optional so just a couple of examples of this. So if we've got a bulb that uses 40 joules of electrical energy to produce 5 joules of light, okay, its efficiency is 5 came out of 40. If we want to multiply that by 100 to make it into a percentage, 5 out of 40 is 12.5% efficient. You can see that's not very good. You're not very happy when you get 12.5% on a test, okay, hopefully. So 12.5% efficient is not normally very good. Okay, what's the efficiency of a small engine that uses 10,000 joules of chemical energy to produce 2,400 joules of kinetic and 7,600 of heat? It's tempting to look at this and go, oh, look, that's 10,000 altogether. Everything I put in came out. Yeah, we know everything that you put in came out. That's not the question. How much came out is what you wanted. Okay, this is an engine. It's supposed to be producing kinetic energy. So the efficiency is 2,400 over 10,000. Okay, which in if you want it as a decimal is 0.24 or if you want it as a percentage 24%